What's up, guys? I just want to simplify, simplify, simplify. That's what I'm really craving for, simplicity, simplicity. I have the sort of mind that interests me so much. So I want to get involved in everything. I want to get involved. I want to learn the new Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. I want to learn the new Final Cut Pro. I want to learn the new information on marketing, photography. I want to learn the new medical information on marijuana, uh, THC, DMT. I want to learn about composing music. I want to learn about all the different types of cigars there are in the world, where they're grown. I want to learn about mate. I want to learn about tea. I want to learn about photography. I want to learn about building homes. I want to learn about agriculture. Uh, I want to learn about soil remediation, mycology, anthropology, sociology, psychology. I want to learn about so many things. And it's addicting almost. But at the same time, I want to simplify, simplify. I don't want to keep on chasing a million different interests. Sure, it's great for a conversation with someone when you can talk about a million different things. It's fun. And if I'm totally honest, I'm never going to stop learning about a million different things. Because that's just who I am. I'm just so curious. I'm like a little kid. I just want to learn, learn, learn. But I also know that I need to focus, focus, focus as well. I need to focus and learn. The most learning that I need to do is about myself. I need to learn about myself more than anything else, more than any other thing I'm reading in a book, more than any other thing I'm talking about with a person, more than any other documentary, painter, writer, photographer I'm currently studying, more than any other science, particular science, quantum physics I'm studying, more than anything else, the crucial essential thing is the man, not what he's learning, it's the person, it's you, and that's what I'm beginning to understand, it doesn't matter how much knowledge I put in my head, albeit interesting knowledge, doesn't matter how clever a person is. Doesn't matter how eloquent a person is. Sure, these things matter on a societal level. Of great importance, they matter. You could get rich if you fine-tune your mind properly. You can manipulate the masses. You could destroy, you could build, you could create. The mind is a beautiful thing. And you're free to fill it up with whatever you want to fill it up with. But, let us not compartmentalize the mind and say the mind is a box that one needs to fill up with information and allow the spirit of the man to fall by the wayside. It's risky business every time you turn a page of a book. Risky business. Every time you have a conversation with another person, risky business. Every time you listen to one of my videos, risky business. Every time you watch another documentary, risky business. Why is it risky? Because you're now at another point in which you could say, I am what I'm learning. I am this information that's got out of this book. I am what this person just told me. But that's all an illusion. You're not, you are not knowledge. Knowledge is of the mind. Knowledge is not... I mean, to put it frankly, knowledge is an illusion. It's not real. Anything that you have in your mind, you are recalling it from what? We've talked about this many times. Memory, memory. Memory means mind. Think about everything you know. 
think about what I know about mate, what I know about cigars, what I know about uh, vid video. Everything I know is from my memory. Things I've learned, repeated, done again, repeated, done again, ingrained it into my mind, my memory. Now I'm recalling it. Now it's automatic. Now I don't even need to think about it. But a scary thing happens when you begin to meditate. Somewhere, somehow, almost out of the blue, you begin to learn things. Things that you've never read out of any books. Things that you've never heard, ever spoken from another man. Things that you've never heard from a documentary, video, YouTube, what have you. And you question yourself. You say, how do I know that? Why did I do this? Why am I thinking along these lines? How are these things happening in my life? That's when you start to go beyond the mind, in a way. You never fully leave the mind, but you can't use the mind to get out of the mind. But when you put press pause on the mind, like in that essay I wrote, Society Pause Essay, I'll put the link below, when you press pause on the mind, what I think is happening is that you are learning about yourself for the first time in your life. You are learning about the world that's inside of you, that surpasses any book, that surpasses any outside external world information. Now. Imagine the world where you know this to be true, that you know all truth, you are truth, you just have to tap into yourself, yet you could still study, you could still be interested in a million different things, you could still master some information you're reading out of books, that's great, go for it. But you need the protection of the knowing that you are none of those things. Without that protection, I think that we're living in the most risky world that anyone could ever live in when you think that you are what's inside of your mind, inside of your, your, your mental. Now I'm not trying to offer a general prescription. I'm only speaking about myself. You know, I, I, I'm the canvas in this painting right now. I'm the only thing that I can talk about myself. I can't talk about you. I can't talk about his mind, her mind, their minds. I don't know about your mind. That's your mind. I'd be lying if I said I knew about your mind. I don't know about your mind. I'm the subject in these videos. And when I'm talking about the mind, I'm talking about everything that I'm going through right now. And like I said in the other video, you know, the only thing that could hold me back is my mind. And to come back to the premise of this video, yes, I'm so interested in so many different things, but at the same time, I know that I need to focus. It's almost as if there has to be some sort of sacrifice. And a year ago, I wouldn't be using this word sacrifice. I would be saying, nah, live it up, do whatever. Fuck it. You're in control. You're the boss. You're the man. Do whatever you want. But as I begin to get a little older, I'm not that old, 27, but I've been talking about these things for four years now on YouTube, and as each year passes by, I change my position many times. I contradict myself many times. Yes. This is not a logical thing. It's an organic, evolving, growing thing. And I believe now that there needs to be sacrifice on the individual level. As much as I love making these videos, I would have no problem really not making a video for two months or a month. I'd say, eh, fuck it. I don't need to make a video. 
I'm just gonna meditate, read books, drink some tea, hang out with some friends. Fuck it, I don't need to make a video. Even though I love making videos, even though I know it's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'd be lying if I said that there wasn't ever a resistance in me to make videos. Sometimes there is a resistance, and I have to push myself to make a video. And I think that every true artist feels the same way. Every so, Everybody who loves to paint, take pictures, or whatever your art is, because art... Checking the time here. I don't want to go over my 15 minutes. Because art is, uh, is what you create. The word art means to create. It doesn't mean you're a painter or a writer. Those are just the mainstream definitions of art. Art means to create. So when you sacrifice sometimes, you have to say, hey man, fuck it, I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna paint today. I may not feel like it, but I gotta do it. Just like every morning, sometimes I wake up and I don't wanna meditate. I just wanna go drink some mate and watch a documentary or read a book. I don't wanna meditate every morning, but I do. And I'm always happy that I, that I did even when I didn't want to. Because the mind, the mind says don't meditate. The mind says go drink the mate first. The mind says go smoke this cigar first. The mind says go call somebody up and say they're an asshole. The mind says, you know, go spend all your money. The mind says go work at night to five that you don't want to be working. The mind says go out all night and destroy your body with alcohol and liquor. And the mind says go smoke a pound of weed every single day five days. That's the mind. If you listen to the mind, you're a slave. Slavery. But the heart, the heart always knows the truth. If you could get that mind out of your face, like those titties I spoke about, slap those titties out of your face and allow the heart to do what it's really meant to do, it's the furnace of truth furnace of what you're really supposed to be doing, listen to the heart, then you'll be alright. Salud. Keep this going, guys. Ciao, ciao. Peace.